Hello there. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this uh, uh, card UI design uh, with these images with fancy borders to it. Okay, so if you look carefully at the images, uh, you see here that they have a sort of a, a complex shape to it, and it gives you a sort of a cutout look. Okay, so uh, I'm going to be using border radius uh, to create this, and to follow along with this uh, tutorial, you need an image, and I'll leave the link to the image. Uh, in the comment section so that uh, you can download it or you can go to pixels.com or unsplash and search for beach uh, photos and uh, you can download uh, one that you like so let's get started so in VS, VS Code I've already set up uh, index.html and style.css uh, they're both are blank files at the moment and I also downloaded uh, well copied over uh, the image that I uh, downloaded from uh, pixels.com uh, so I renamed it as beach.jpg. Okay, so in the index.html, uh, I'm going to start off with the starter template. So uh, it's going to be uh, exclamation mark tab. And then I'm going to, in the head, I'm going to link the CSS, uh, which is dot slash uh, style dot CSS. So in the body, I'm going to have uh, cards. Uh, I did with the cards. That's going to be our flex layout. Uh, and then uh, that's going to have a, a dot card and within the card we're going to have a dot image uh, a div and then uh, also we're going to have a h2 tag there and a p tag okay so this is going to be our starting markup for it well, we're going to have another th uh, two cards there i'm just going to fill this out so h2 uh, uh, I'm going to give it a, a title, I'm just going to say holiday location, okay, and in the p tag I'm just going to have some text goes here, and then I'm just going to copy that and uh, replicate it so that uh, I have enough, enough text in there, okay, so now I'm going to copy this and replicate it twice. So I'm going to have three cards. One, two. So this is going to be our markup uh, for our cards layout. So it's going to have a, a, car, a flex, uh, flex box grid of three cards. <coughs> okay, so now we can go into the styles and style this. Okay, so for the cards, uh, we're going to have a height of 100 V. VH. And we're gonna have it's gonna be display. Oops. And it's gonna be display flex. And then we're gonna align items and it's gonna be center. And we're gonna justify content and it's gonna be space around. And then we're gonna have a background color. It's going to be a sort of a uh, turquoise color, so it's going to be a hash, 6BC, and 4CD. Okay, so that's, uh, and we're also going to have a uh, color white uh, for the text. Okay, so then we're going to uh, style the individual card, so it's going to be dot card, and that's going to have a height of uh, 50. 50 VH and it's going to have a border radius of 3 pixels and uh, then we're going to have a box shadow and that's going to that's going to have a 20 pixels by 40 pixels and 33 pixels and it's going to have an RGBA it's going to have a transparency of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.3. Okay, then we're going to have a padding. Padding of uh, 2 REM. And then uh, we're going to have a width of 35 pH. Okay, so now we can go on to the image. So the image is going to be dot image. And it's going to have a width of 20 pH. There's a column there. Okay. 
and then uh, we're going to have a height. Oh, there's a column there. All right, it's going to have a height of uh, 20 dbh. And then we're going to have a background image. It's going to be as uh, the URL is going to be, oops, URL is going to be uh, beach. JPG, see if that we download it. Okay, and that's going to have a background size of cover, and then we're going to have a background position of center. Center. Okay, so and I'm going to also have a box shadow for this box shadow, and that's going to be 10 px 15 px and 5 px uh, 6 px and it's gonna have a color of hash 389 and 1 b4 that's gonna be a little bit darker than the car uh, the background color for the cards okay so if I save that and then check in the browser what we have we can refresh Okay, I think I probably not uh, save. I'm gonna save the HTML. Okay, so control save the HTML. All right. Okay, so refresh. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Uh, so we we got a grid of three cards, and it's got an image, and it's got a uh, box shadow to the image, and uh, the cards have uh, shadows as well. Okay, now we're going to do the fancy borders uh, uh, for these images. Okay, to generate the border, uh, we're going to go to Google and we're going to Google border radius generator. And in the results, uh, you get uh, one that says fancy border radius generator. Okay, so you want that one and the link is to uh, nineelements.github. So if you click on that, okay, it will take you to this screen where it's, a, it's like a little app where you can... Uh, uh, move these handles and it will alter the shape so it will alter the shape of the border okay so as you can see I'm moving it up and down and it moves the uh, and it alters the shape okay as well as uh, in if you look down uh, uh, where it says border radius uh, you'll see that it, it, there are some numbers associated with it and this is the border radius uh, value that uh, that you can use in your in your CSS to get this uh, border okay and uh, as you know border radius uh, you can have one value two value three value or you can have up to eight values like this but it has different uh, ways of specifying the values so this is the long form of specifying the border radius now it's got eight values here and we've got four handles uh, you can uh, there, there is a little a setting there if you click on full control and it will have eight handles okay so this is a little bit more trickier to use uh, but you can use this and as you can see it's changing the numbers here okay so so that's what uh, so I, I would suggest I uh, use a simple version so click on simple version and it takes you back to the four handles okay so so we, we're just gonna have uh, so we, we, we're gonna uh, have make a simple shape uh, just adjust it to what, what, what you want Okay, so we're going to set up for something like this. Okay, so okay, so we, we, we're going to have something like this. Okay, so we're going to have this sort of shape and we're going to say copy. Okay, so it copies it to the clipboard. And then we go back into our code. We go into our CSS. Okay, so we're going to apply it to the, the image. So in the image, we're going to add a border radius. Okay, and we're just going to paste that in there. Save. Okay, then we go to browser and just refresh. There you go. And it's applied the border radius, and, and, and that's that's all there is to it. So you can play around with these numbers uh, if you want. Uh, so you you can you can sort of adjust the numbers, but it, so if I say uh, make that eighty and make that. 
60 C and it will have a different uh, outcome. There you go, so it's changed the shape. Okay, so, so if I change it back again, I think it was better before. Okay, and save. Right. So there you go, okay. So we can uh, we can change the width of this so it, it uh, stretches a bit more. So if I go back and save the image, we can save the width to 35. Okay, so there you go. So it's it's uh, it's stretched it out a bit. So you can play around with this, and uh, uh, you can go in here and create another border for individual images, and so you can have it all different. So if I say uh, I want uh, something else like this. I copy this. Oops, I copy it, and I go into my code, and I say, uh, uh, let's call, I call it one or something. Uh, and I say border radius, and say, you know, and I copy that in. Okay, so then I'm going to just add this class one to. Uh, one of these cards, so I just save that one and then save one. So now the third one is going to be different, a different one, different shape. So there you go. So this is pointing sort of slightly up, and this is sort of pointing slightly down. Okay, so you can make all these shapes different and apply it to, to the image. So I can also uh, change the text on this. And can, uh, change. So I'm going to change the text on this. So just to make it a bit, bit more uh, fancier, so I'll say font, family, I'll say Ghana. Okay, so, uh, so that has a bit more of an effect on, on, the, on the look and feel. So if you like this uh, tutorial, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next one.